Well, hi, everybody. It's John Elzinga, and it is Easter week, and welcome to It's a Great Day to Serve the Lord. It's a great week uh, to serve the Lord, that's for sure. And uh, I'm going to ask the question, what is the big deal about Easter? What's the big deal? And I'm going to read from you uh, Paul's response to that. And Paul's response is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, uh, verses um, uh, 1 through 14. And I'm going to skip a couple of verses in there. I'm going to jump over a couple of verses. But it goes like this. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received and on which you have taken your stand. By this gospel, you are saved if you hold firmly to the word that I preach to you. Otherwise, you believed in vain. For what I received, I passed on to you as of first importance that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. And they appeared to Cephas and then to the twelve. And after that, he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers and sisters at the same time, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. In other words, you can check it out. Go talk to them. <laughs> then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. And then uh, last of all, he appeared to me also as one abnormally born. Skipping over to verse 12. But... If it is preached that Christ has been raised from the dead, how can some of you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then not even Christ has been raised, which is, by the way, Easter, why we celebrate Easter. And if Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless, and so is your faith. Dear friends, I, I ask that question. What's the big deal about Easter? Why is it it's such a big deal? I mean, is it just another holiday? Is it just another time to get together? Just another sentiment? Just a little nod to Jesus? Is that what it is? Paul's saying in this passage, if Christ had not been raised, our preaching is useless and so is your faith. Did you get that? If Christ has not been raised from the dead, our faith is useless. It's useless. It's worth nothing. Let me put it to this way, and it's kind of a modification I have of something C.S. Lewis said, and it is this. If Jesus wasn't who he said he was, God come in human flesh to save us from our sins, then he wasn't a nice guy. He wasn't a great prophet. He was a nut job and we're nuts to following him. Let me repeat that. If Jesus wasn't who he said he was, God, come in human flesh to save us from our sins, then he wasn't a nice person. He wasn't a great prophet. He was, in fact, a nut job, and we are nuts for following him. I mean, think about it. What do we say today about people who claim to be God. We say, let me get you some help. We, uh, we help them to um, go to a treatment center or something to get some help. It's not normal. The resurrection, Easter, why we celebrate Easter, was victory over sin and death, which was you know, the result of man's fall into sin at the garden. Only God himself could correct this. Only God could have victory over this. Only God is supreme. That's the big deal about Easter. There was a poem I wrote, oh, I don't know, 20 years ago or so, um, and I put it this way. The good news is that Jesus did what we could never do. The reality of Christ coming and dying in the flesh. It's about him. It's not about us. It's about the fact that no wisdom can save us. No signs or wonders can elevate us. There is nothing, nothing we can do or achieve or demonstrate that can make us holy enough, deserving enough to be saved. 
Nothing can save us. Only Christ come in real human flesh, dying in the ultimate way, in view for all to see, humiliated Christ, God himself, doing what we could never do, being what we could never be, for those of us who will accept what we could never gain, receiving mercy and grace that we never deserved. My friend, this Easter week, let's celebrate what only Jesus could do and give him all the glory and the honor and praise because Easter is the biggest deal of all. Now, I pause because maybe there's somebody there, somebody out there listening to this right now who's been on the edge, you know, kind of on the edge of faith. Maybe you grew up in faith and really haven't jumped into it completely. Maybe you've never had that day, never had that time, never had that moment when you ask Christ to come in your life, where you give your life and your heart over to Jesus Christ because he died and rose for you. If you've never done that, you can do that right now. It's not a big deal. All you have to do, I mean, it's not something long and drawn out. All you have to do is just acknowledge that. I acknowledge, Jesus, that you are Lord and Savior, that you, in fact, are God, that you came to die for my sins because I acknowledge, Jesus, that I am a sinner and I need a Savior. I need you, Lord Jesus. And I want you to come into my life and I want to give my life to you forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, if you made that commitment, I would really love it if you would let me know uh, just just uh, email me at john at johnelzinga.com and let me know that you came into the body of believers by accepting Christ as your Savior and Lord. Uh, friends, God bless you. And remember, it's a great week to serve the Lord.